it appears that there was drama in the African Union meeting that just happened last week. Security agents of the African Union ejected members of Israel's delegation for entering a closed-door meeting without proper accreditation. So according to African Union, the reason why they kicked out the Israeli delegates is because they didn't have the proper documents. Um, if anything, I think they were accusing them of having a fake one because at that moment, the African leaders were having a closed-door meeting and um, the Israel delegates shouldn't have been there. But it seems like the Israeli delegation accused South Africa and Algeria for what happened, even though South Africa came out and said, nope, they had nothing to do with it. It's protocol. They didn't have the accreditation. So that's why they were kicked out. Algeria, I don't think they have responded yet. So there are so many stories. Israel is saying, nope, what happened is because of South Africa and Algeria. The reason why they're saying that is because even when Israel has requested to be an observer state in the AU, South Africa and Algeria rejected that. They did not want Israel to be an observer state because they believe that Israel has not been treating Palestine the right way. And so because of that, Israel is blaming South Africa and Algeria. South Africa is saying, nope, that's not the reason. We have not done anything to get you kicked out. It is because of protocol. And if it is protocol, we completely agree. Like any other organization, like the European Union, the United Nation, if there's a protocol there that says in a closed door meeting, amongst those ministers or leaders or presidents, prime ministers, whatever it is, if another state can't join without being given permission, then they can't join. So when it comes to the African Union, rules don't change. If there's a rule there, it needs to be followed. So I understand what South Africa is saying when it comes to this, but it's like conflicting. Each and every party is claiming something different. We will hear more about it, I guess, as time goes by. But as of now, everybody's blaming one another. And bottom line is the Israeli delegation were kicked out of the African Union meeting. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. Do you think they were kicked out because they didn't have a proper documentation or do you think it's South Africa and Algeria flexing their muscle and kicking out the Israeli delegation? Let us know down below. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.